do you notice something? Because I'm seeing something that shouldn't be there. I don't even want to know how you got up there. Hi, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? You know you shouldn't be there. Hey everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a new reading vlog where I don't pick my TBR. Well, I kind of did, but the cat is going to be choosing what I'm reading. I'm very excited. A few months ago, I let the squirrel that had been feeding throughout the pandemic choose my TBR for the week. She didn't have great taste. In her defense, though, I have since read all four books that were included. None of them would have been really that great. So we're hoping that this week is going to be better because I have three books I'm really, really excited about and she shall choose however many I have time to read this week. And hopefully she participates. Uh, so the three books... We have A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon that will be represented in the picking line uh, by the first book in this series, uh, The Priori of the Orange Tree. So A Day of Fallen Night is the prequel for it that is set a couple hundred years, 200 years, I don't remember exactly, prior <laughs> to this one. And uh, the book is officially coming out February 28th. I have pre-ordered a physical copy, but Chapters Indigo has been having issues. I don't even know if, when I'm gonna get it. But luckily I do have an advanced reader copy on my Kindle, so I will be reading it that way. And luckily some of you reminded me I could just put it on airplane mode. So we'll be able to finish it if she picks that one. So this will be the first one, uh, adult fantasy, giant dragons, a lot of world building. It was just really good, the first book. And I'm 45% into A Day of Fallen Night. I essentially want to get my together and um, finish what I started. I have been very terrible at this this year so far. I started like 10 books, it's ridiculous. So this is the first one. So far I was really enjoying it, so hopefully she picks that one. The second option is the second book in this series. This is the ugliest cover in history. I'm gonna put it on the screen. The second book of the series is called Mind of My Mind, and I read Wild Seed in February, so I just want to continue. Once again, trying to keep the momentum. One of my challenges this year is to finish series, so that would be nice. Uh, Octavia Butler is one of my favorite authors. However, book one is one of the weirdest books I've ever read. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's my February wrap-up. I talked about it a little bit more, but essentially, uh, people with superpowers, kind of, not really, and a lot of interbreeding. That's, yeah. Um, book two, so if I continue, I'll explain in more details, right? Whichever book I pick, but I need to continue, so that's the second option. And last, but certainly not least, is a book that I've been dying to read. Uh, it is called The Wall, which in this one, a woman traveling uh, and she ends up being alone, stuck behind an invisible wall with just a dog, a cat, and a cow as companions, and she's trying to survive. This is essentially something I got because I read I Who Have Never Known Men and then searched like crazy online trying to find anything that would sound remotely the same. And I think it sounds like it's gonna be similar-ish. Uh, dystopian, very character-driven, older female character, survivalist. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, if you know anything like this, let me know. So hopefully she'll choose that because I am reading this this month, no matter what, so. Okay, so here are my three options and I shall be putting some tasty treats and let her choose. I feel like I'm making the same mistake as when I did it with the squirrels. I put it in front eventually so they would pick them but hopefully the cat is smarter <laughs> less scared so let's call her i didn't even call her yet and she came smart cat you heard everything what do you want what am i oh oh this is it the wall did you eat one no she didn't she's she's choosing that is interesting Oh, guess I have to continue the series then. I like that she chose, she rejected the first one. So, of course, she chose the book I am the most stressed about. <laughs> you know what? Not a bad thing. Uh, I shall be reading Mind of My Mind. I just looked, and this is the size of it. My edition has all four books of the series, so it's about 200 pages. So I'm not worried about the amount of time it's going to take me or anything. It's just so strange, and I have no idea how why where <laughs> things are going i listen i trust her she's one of my favorite authors but if this had been the first book i had read by her i would have never read anything else by her i just need to keep saying that every time i talk about this series because it is weird but sci-fi i love it i love her let's do this and i'm gonna update you later today to see how i'm feeling about it because book one was so weird 
and they've been like published in a different order that they're now being presented. So I feel like that kind of affects everything, but wish me luck. <laughs> I am excited, just a little nervous because so much incest. Okay, first impression on the book. I officially a thing with the author. This is my third series by her. And in every single one of them, when you continue the next book, you're following a different character as your main character, which I think is really interesting. And it's still, you know, continuation, but it's sometimes like a little further in time. So the other characters are still there, but they're just not the main point of view, which I feel like it's not something that I've seen that much. I think that she does it well, but oh my God, can we stop with the incest? <laughs> I need to stop calling it that. It's interbreeding. Uh, I don't know. Uh, trying to, you know, make the perfect people and it's kind of gross, but she does it okay. She's the only author. Ooh. She's the only author I will tolerate pushing my limits this far. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, the cat is doing great, by the way. Let me insert a little clip of her. It's currently snowing and she is living her best life. She's currently giving me the cold shoulder though because I made a mistake the other day to give her some chicken she now requests chicken every time i go in the kitchen which she's not getting so she's not happy with me i'm sorry you begged at the wrong door if you want an all chicken diet i can't afford that um <laughs> i mean i took pity on her she's getting so chunky like i've been calling her chubby bunny and she's spoiled though she she has you know her adult fancy kebble no corn no this no th like fancy and because she's pregnant, I googled it and I also am giving her uh, wet food, like kitten wet food. And she was happy with that until the chicken happened and now she's very unhappy with me. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that I went from having zero cat to having a cat full of cats. So do you guys want to guess how many cats, kitties, kittens she's going to be having? Because I haven't googled the average litter, but I'm, I'm scared too. It's definitely more than one, sadly. If it were only one, I would consider keeping both, you know, her and... But I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to be like three or four and I'm terrified. I am not equipped for that. <laughs> so yeah, um, the book is good, I guess. I guess. Um, but I, I trust Butler. She can do it. If anyone can do it. She can make me read about incest, apparently. I can't wait to show you the second book she picked because, of course, I did it right away uh, in case she wouldn't cooperate. But I'm excited for that one, too. So I'll see you in a day or two, Max. I just finished a book and I wish I could talk about the spoilers because what the f is that ending? I I am shocked. I'm shocked. Um, let's talk about... I don't have many post-its, but let's talk about it. Um, I'm glad that there was a lot less <laughs> than uh, in book one. I feel like it became a lot less crazy and I feel like book two will appeal to more people once you get past uh, the beginning. But I feel like there were still some interesting conversation about slavery in this one towards the end. Uh, there's only one thing that really annoyed me, which has nothing to do with the story. <laughs> so like, it's just a conversation. Uh, there's a character that basically wants the other character to choose to have a baby that will be male. Um, and it, it annoys me so much when that happens. Like, we've all seen those videos, right? Because 99% of the time, it's like a man being really pissed that he's having a girl. Um, and it just never obviously sit right with me. So having him being like, I don't imagine you could arrange for it to be a boy. And she's like, yeah, of course. Anyway, um, I guess that just says more about the character really than anything else. But the ending though, the ending though, uh, it's gonna, uh, ugh. I will want to continue now after this because where the hell is this going to go now? I, I don't know. I, I need to know. I do have to say, I'm really curious to see what the next two books are going to be like because I feel like the writing style was even very different from book one. I feel like the author I don't remember what was the order that they were actually originally published in. I know it's not one, two, three, um, but very, very different. And I really like how I never know what to expect. <laughs> never. So yes, I am going to give this four, maybe. Um, not my favorite by her, 
it was only like 190 pages, but I couldn't put it down. I needed to know, and I kind of do now, and I, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me show you what book the cat chose for my second book of the month, the week. What about after that? What am I reading after that? Then after that, The Wall. Well, well, well. Isn't that interesting? Are you going to find the third one too? That's for being a good kitty. There you go. Thank you for your help. We're very grateful. Thank you. I'm so excited. Um, I've been dying to read this so, so much. I feel like this is going to be the kind of book that leaves me with an existential crisis, which is 100% what I'm in the mood for. Very character driven. I'm assuming this is going to be her like boring survival life, which I don't know why it sounds very appealing to me at the moment. And I'm really hoping this is going to be similar to I who have never known men. I, I can't shut up about this book. I will not. And I am on a quest to try to find anything and everything that will be similar. Again, I'm begging people to give me anything <laughs> similar that they might know of. Either way, I will be on a quest. And once I have found a couple, I'll let you know. But this is my first option. And it's not, again, too, too long. It's like 250 pages. But... I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling. So I wanted to update you on the book, but it's really hard because <laughs> someone is sleeping on my lap and I can't move because, you know, I would be moving her. Um, so first update quickly. I read the first like 30 something pages of the book, so it's too early to have much of an opinion on it. But so far things are really good. Um, she is just realized, you know, she's stuck behind the wall. She's stuck alone in the cabin the two people she went with are stuck on the other side it doesn't seem clear what happened outside the wall but i don't think we're gonna get an answer uh the only thing is there there are no chapters which confused the crap out of me and i got some war flashbacks uh from university when i had a class called well it was in french but it was called uh women and literature and we had a book to read that the whole book had no punctuation and no chapters Luckily in this one, we do have punctuation, but I I'm getting some flashbacks. <laughs> uh, hopefully I don't struggle with that one as much as the other one. The other one I had no idea what happened the whole time. Um, but so far so good. And yeah, one day I will be able to get up and actually continue doing anything because right now I can't because I have this adorable kitty on my lap and she chose the book. So she chooses <laughs> when I can read, um, but she's so adorable. Say hi. Oh yeah, that's your best angle. Oh yeah, that is good. That's really good. What do you have to tell the people? Hmm? What do you have to tell the people? You're so pretty. You're so pretty. I know. I know. You're so cute. Holy schmoly. Um, this took me longer than I thought. I thought I would have time to start the other book before the end of the week, but I won't. Um. I'm going to have to next week get my together for the next vlog. That's going to be the team of the next vlog because it took me forever to go through it because it's not something I could binge read. I really enjoyed it though. Um, I didn't think, I, I don't think I mentioned that much in my last update, but essentially this is kind of a journal entry. She's just writing down her whole experience two and a half years later, like into this whole thing. And she goes through it by whatever she remembers but also some notes that she left herself because she wasn't planning necessarily on doing that before she was in survival mode right trying to survive so you do get sometimes like she slips into the narration that something awful is gonna happen later on and i was dreading every time i'm like no i don't want to read that it better not happen even though of course you know it's her story she knows what's gonna happen um but yeah that was mm, but it's a very boring book I, I thought it was great, but like, keep in mind, it's very character driven, it's very slow pace, and it's just her narration of what happened in two and a half years of her trying to survive, being stuck alone in the valley, the forest, and like this cabin. So be warned. And she's just trying to stay alive and keep the animals around her alive, and you know, so don't expect. <laughs>
<laughs> a lot of adventures. Um, but if you go with the right mindset, you might enjoy this. I did mention that I was reading this in the hope that it would give me vibes similar to the other book. And a little bit. Uh, I think the other one is going to be liked by more people than this one. But I really liked how throughout her narration, there are also moments of like, wisdom and like things that she realized looking back at her life prior to all of this how ridiculous her worries were but speaking of worries i like how she feels so relatable because sometimes you'll read a book and like not only like survivalist stories whether they're post-bucalyptic or just you know um dystopian first off they're often very violent which <laughs> i'm kind of over um but not this one obviously she's alone she is relatable because there's plenty of things that she doesn't know how to do so like she just doesn't magically become you know a carpenter like you'll see other people in the books do she has no idea how it works and she will let you know and she has some anxiety and it feels again very relatable because <laughs> i would be anxious <laughs> if i had to try to survive with my own skills i would die first of all but like it was uh great to follow her story Yes, so that's kind of my overall feeling about it. Uh, the ending, I'm not going to spoil anything, but obviously the book did hurt quite a bit. Um, but the ending is overall hopeful, which I was not expecting. Again, I don't understand how you could, but okay. Um, also, at one point she mentioned that she has like a toothache. It makes you realize that like anything and everything could kill you if you were stuck alone again behind an invisible wall like <laughs> yes to like first of all teeth are so important like anything an infection can kill you so easily especially again alone like yeah there are a few moments where like she mentions things that are just really interesting but i don't want to like mention too many because i feel like the little gems are worth reading the book for and it's just again very much about her the animals trying to survive and again, some thoughts about humanity. You do not get answers, which I think is important to mention. I don't think that's a spoiler. Because it's just her. I feel like sometimes also you get answers and it's like, how would that person know, you know? And I'm not going to say too much, but it's just so strange to like see her see behind the wall, but not being able to access and like understand what's going on. And it was good it was good at 4.25 4.5 i might run it up because this is by far the best book that i've read this year um we're still early but still uh, i have not been having the greatest reading year so far this has helped the slump even though again it's very slow it took me like five days to go through 200 pages but i really liked it and i'm slightly traumatized i believe there's a movie a few people mentioned it and i couldn't find it online i think apple tv has it um i might try to ahoy it if possible if no uh, i will eventually get access and uh watch it let me know again if it's worth it but that's it that's the vlog i read two books that were very depressing but end on a hopeful note <laughs> and somehow it seemed to have cured my reading slump at least for now uh i feel like it's so fra fragile at that state right anything can happen but i had a great reading week <laughs> so far i'm also reading uh listening to um the change and it's great very female rage yeah three really good books this week i'm not done with the audiobook but really great week so far and yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog. The cat has great taste. She's a cutie. Um, she's doing well still. And I will see you next week for me catching up to all the books I'm in the middle of. <laughs> it is very much needed, but stressful. So I'll see you then. <laughs>